Should. Mm. Totally. Shouldn't. This is the mini series where we talk about things that are a thing that shouldn't be a thing and things that aren't things that should be things. Today's topic is movies. We have the should with Mr. J time and they shouldn't with me. So what should be a movie but isn't? All right. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about Ching Shi. When I was researching for this topic, I wanted to see a movie that was based off of a real historical figure. Ching Shi was born into a very poor family in the poverty-ridden province of China in 1775. At the age of 13, she was forced to become a prostitute by her family just to help pay the bills. Her beauty ended up winning over the love of a pirate who she married. Oh, once, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> right. Once he died though, she took over his fleet. Now that would be the Red Flag Fleet. It is reported that she ran her ships with an iron fist and was super successful, to the point that the Chinese government set out an armada just to stop her. Well, she kicked their butts and captured a bunch of their ships and used those ships to keep growing and growing the Red Flag Fleet. Now she was growing her fleet so big that eventually China had to team up with the Dutch and British just to have a fighting chance against her. At the peak of her piracy, she commanded over 800 large ships, 1,000 smaller vessels, and employed over 70,000 pirates, <laughs> comprised of both men and women. Holy crap, that's like, way bigger than just a standard like shipping operation with big ships nowadays no, like that's she, way bigger she is considered the most successful pirate in all of history huh so this fleet that the chinese put together with the help of the dutch and the british they were able to contend to her but they were such a hard target that the government decided to grant them all immunity in the agreement that they would stop being pirates. <laughs> um, and she agreed. She's they, probably on board. <laughs> they, <laughs> the government al uh, allowed them all to keep all of the loot they had gotten, for one, and they hired a good chunk of her fleet to run the Chinese Navy. <laughs> and this woman then retired with her riches, bought and ran a brothel and casino until the day she died at the age of 69. So from prostitute to the most successful pirate in the world, back to brothel owner. And that is the story of Ching Shi. Interesting. Would make a totally crazy movie, right? Yeah, I, I know that uh, Pirates of the Caribbean vaguely touched on it, but most people didn't understand what they were talking about. Oh, and there's a lot of really cool details that I left out. There's so much going on here. I would actually definitely recommend reading about her. She's way cool. Yeah. So, that's a movie that should exist, but doesn't yet, unfortunately. Now, we would like to hear about a movie that does exist, but shouldn't. What did you find for us? This is a doozy. Oh. This is known as Food Fight. Food Fight? Yep, and you, you probably recognize some of those characters there. Right. There's the shark from the tuna cans. Yeah. There's the bird from the pickles. There's, right. um, I, I don't know what all of them are. Um, there's the Mrs. Butterworth. There's <laughs> Mr. Clean. There's like, there's a whole bunch of um, well-known supermarket okay. character things here in this movie. Right. Um, the premise of this movie is, well, I'll just, I'll read it off for you. When the supermarket closes at night, the contents inside come to life. The shop becomes a living, or a living world for Dex Dog Detective, the main character, of course, um, and all other creatures inside <laughs> at night time. However, with, uh, however, with the new brand X coming into the store, things take a turn for the worst. Oh no. In other words, it's Toy Story in a grocery store mixed up with poorly rendered versions of your worst nightmares. <laughs> written by Anonymous, because even they didn't want to be attributed to this film. Of course, I mean, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, 
yeah, look at the poor rendering quality of all of this. And like, animation's hard. I mean, I'll give them that. But right. these are A-list, like, um, companies. companies. Yeah. They supposedly... Do- Billions of dollars. Yeah, Chef Boyardee, you know, Mrs. Butterworth, the whatever the heck that fish is called, you know, like big brands, right? But not only big brands, big actors. What? Yeah. So the main actor was played by Charlie Sheen and the secondary main actor was paid or was played by Hilary Duff. And then you have <laughs> Wayne Brady, you have uh, Chris Caton. Uh, let's see. Jerry Stiller, Christopher Lloyd, and many others. <laughs> These are like not small actors. <laughs> and this wasn't like in the beginning of their careers either. This is like well into all of their careers. What the heck happened here? Yeah. And I mean, I might put some B-roll footage of, of pieces of the movie, but I, I obviously can't put very much for the sake of copyrights. We'll put the link to the trailer in the description <laughs> below. But... It was terrible. Yeah. I mean, the premise of it alone was pretty bad. Right. Um, You know, it's food toy story, basically. Um, But in part of the movie, get up onto the rooftop of this grocery store um, as the brand is coming in the front door Mm -hmm. um, at the lower part of the grocery store. They're up on the roof and they start throwing food down at the brand X to exterminate them or whatever, um, (laughs) to, to brawl with them, literally to encapsulate the name food fight. Right. But they're throwing their comrades off the roof. Yeah. (laughs) Interestingly, you know, Mrs. Butterworth, she is syrup, but she's throwing syrup. (laughs) So she's throwing herself off of a roof (laughs) and so are the rest of the characters. And it's just nothing about it gets better. It just (laughs) continually gets worse. And it got one of the lowest ratings in movie history to date. Wow. Yeah. It's so bad. So, so very bad. (laughs) <laughs> you no, know, no, I kind of want to watch the first five minutes in the Lose This Trust. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, some movies, you know, I could have done movies like The Room or um, Birdemic, the sequel thing that they did the remake of the Alfred Hitchcock movie, right. which also did really bad, but they were so bad in their own respective right that they became meta. This didn't. It's just bad. No. It's just bad all over the place. No redeeming qualities about this whatsoever. No. It's just like what, you know, the mosquito video game. You just, you don't make a mosquito video game and you don't make a food fight Toy Story knockoff. It's just (laughs) with the humanoid dog and cat as the protagonists, because apparently those are also food items that you buy at stores. Just so many plot holes. So it's just, why? Why? <laughs> it should not have existed. Very mm't. Lots of mm's going on. Just don't. <laughs> what were they thinking? What was a movie that you saw that totally shouldn't have been a thing? Or a movie that you can think of that should exist. But doesn't. Now go away. <laughs> <laughs>